What is up y'all welcome back or if this is your first time watching one of my videos hey how you doing so in today's video i'm gonna be reacting to episode 993 of one piece so last week's episode was it had a pretty big reveal for one uh yamato's face was revealed and by god she is gorgeous like wow she is insanely gorgeous um other things that we found out about yamato she was there during odin's execution we find out that her dream is to become Odin and open up the gates of Wano. So pretty much what everyone else's goal is. So it's good to know that she wants to do the same thing. Also, the reason why um, she went by Kaido's son is because she wanted to be like Odin. I think, what was it? Um, because she wanted to be Odin, you know, I think it's, it's like, I think it's like the title goes to like more of a man. So that's why she always referred to herself as like Kaido's son and everything. And that's why everyone else called her Kaido's son, even though clearly Yamato is not a guy. She's a girl. And like I said, she's gorgeous. So yeah, that's pretty much like why um, she went as Kaido's son instead of like, you know, Kaido's daughter, because like I said, she wants to be Odin. Another thing we find out is she has Odin's logbook. So pretty much, I think it was like, from when he was traveling with Whitebeard to like traveling with Rogers and everything. So in that logbook, it's most likely going to have like everything, you know, like find out like, especially like find out where Laugh is because, you know, Odin was obviously on Rogers crew when they found Laugh Tale and pretty much just everywhere else where like, you know, Rogers went when he was, when Odin was on Rogers crew. And then, you know, even when Odin was on Whitebeard's crew, don't know why that took me so long to like say, but I managed to do it. So since Yamato wants to be Odin, she is actually going to be helping out, you know, the Straw Hats, helping out everyone take down Kaido because, you know, she wants, you know, Wano to be open. You know, she wants Kaido out of there. She wants her, yeah, she wants her own dad out of there and everything. So yeah, they just got another like reinforcements, which was crazy, you know, because Yamato like well, from what we've seen already, Yamato's pretty damn powerful. Like she's pretty damn powerful, which makes sense because she is Kaido's kid. So yeah, very powerful character right there. Also, we got a reunion with Cat Viper and Izo with you know the other um, scabbards. You know, so like we had Izo like seeing Okiku for the first time in like so many years and. Honestly, that was so heartwarming, you know, like I cannot get over that. that. That that was just so beautiful. Like just seeing them like finally reunite together after like so long of being away. Cause remember, um, Izo went with Odin when he tried going on Whitebeard's crew and everything. And so Izo ended up staying with Whitebeard instead of like, you know, like going back to um, Wano. So yeah, it's been a long time since they like seen each other. I think it's been what, I think like over 20 years or so, give or take, something like that. Even though Okiku did also travel through time and, you know, Izo didn't. So yeah, time travel, always confusing at some points, but yeah, I'm still really happy that they finally got to see each other again after so long. Uh, that moment was just so heartwarming. Also with Kaido, you know, announcing that there's a new Onigashima plan, you know, he ends up showing up at Momonosuke's execution and Robin and Jinbei are there and then Old Man Hio and the other samurais, you know, they're there. Jinbei and Robin were doing like evil laughs to like make it seem like they're part of Kaido's crew. So like, you know, no one finds them suspicious or anything. And honestly, when Jinbei and Robin were doing like their evil laugh, I don't know what to think about that. That was like, it was cringy, but also like humorous I think humorous funny yeah it was it was just like it was just weird and like funny at the same time but yeah the last episode was it was a really interesting one to say the least but yeah hopefully this episode like I said hopefully we get either more information about like Kaido's like plan for Onigashima um more Yamato stuff uh what else do I want I don't even know because Wano is a big arc. So hopefully we get a lot of stuff in this episode because, you know, few more episodes, like I think not few, like seven more episodes away till 1000. And, you know, 
episode 1000 is most likely going to be this crazy big episode so very hyped for that so i feel like i feel like they're either either gonna like make this episode and the next few episodes like a little bit more mellow so when they get to episode 1000 that's just gonna be straight up hype everywhere but who knows you know odin not odin um you know odo dude is crazy and we love his craziness so yeah no matter what most likely this episode is gonna be pretty good but before i get started with the reaction you all know what to do hit the subscribe button grab your snacks grab your drinks and once you do all that all right Let's watch some anime. Yes, tell us about this. Tell us more about you and Ace. Like, what the hell happened to you guys? I love this. Gross, Ace in Wano's like art style is so nice. So I guess like what after they fought, they just had a drink with each other. I mean that's like that's typical with like people like Ace. So yeah, of course, of course, Ace talked about Luffy with him. Oh, Luffy. Oh, did you see that? Oh, that was so sweet. Oh. She wanted to go travel with Ace. Oh, that would have been interesting. Hold on. So that would be really interesting. Like, with Yamato saying, like, she actually wanted to go on an adventure with Ace. And then when this, obviously this is before Ace um, became part of Whitebeard's crew. So then I feel like the story would have changed a little, quite, not a little, maybe like quite a bit if Yamato actually joined Ace. Especially like during Marineford or even when like Ace was going after Blackbeard. Like there's a possibility like Yamato would have like probably went with Ace to like go take down Whitebeard or not Whitebeard on um, Blackbeard. Actually, no. Hold on, let me re let me think about this again. Um, because I do remember, like, I think Ace was the only one that joined Whitebeard's crew, because I think like he left his crew or something. I remember like when Ace and Whitebeard were fighting. You know, Ace pretty much told his crew to like get out of there. You know, because it's he's fighting the world's strongest man. So, yeah. So like, I'm sure Yamato would have went along with Ace with Whitebeard's crew. So, I mean, yeah. Okay, back to this. I, I, I'm i just, like, going on and on. It's interesting that, like, it's snowing, like, behind Onigashima. I don't know, because, like, when we saw Onigashima, like, in the front, I don't think there was really any sign of snow, right? Or am I just, like, overthinking this? Because, like, I think I saw a theory where it's, like, where it's, like, the snow, it's... So, hold on, let me pause this again. So, like, there's a theory with the snow behind Onigashima that, like, um, if you remember last episode, Marco just dropped off Cat Viper and Izo, and he's like, yo, I saw something, like, out at sea, I'm gonna go check that out really quick before, you know, like, helping on the raid, and then I saw this theory online, there was, like, um, the snow is actually a sign that Aokiji's there, and so the reason why Marco left is because he saw Aokiji, so, you know, if Aokiji shows up sometime in this arc... Either, like, in the middle of, like, um, you know, Luffy versus Kaido or something like that. Or, like, even at the end, after their fight. Oh, that would be wild. If, like, Aokiji is actually here. I think he's just gonna go straight for... I, okay, so he has his own purpose. So, I, I feel like... I feel like Law is just gonna go find his own route to Kaido. Most likely. Since he's not going to be going with them, since like, I don't know, like, I, I wonder what Law's like purpose is now. Either he's going to be looking for Kaido, or maybe looking for Drake. I feel like him looking for Drake would kind of make sense. Yo, what? What? <laughs> he has a, like, he, he has a gun attached to his arm? Oh, man. <laughs> Yo, Cat Viper, bro. He came strapped. But yeah, all of them are here. They're all finally here at Onigashima. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Oh, damn. Oh, so it's starting already. Yo. This is gonna be good. Look at that, already starting the fight. Wait, what? 
Yo, they're headless. Okay, so there was... Wait, what? Oh, those were Conjuro's drawings. Yo, are they about to fight Conjuro right now? Like, right away? Oh, plus no one told... No one told Cat Viper about this. Like, Conjuro isn't, like... He was a backstabber. Like, he was, um... He was a spy. Yo, no one told him. This is gonna be big news to him. Yo... Yo, they're about to fight a Conjuro right now. They're about to fight Conjuro right now. Oh, this is going to be good. I highly doubt we're going to see like the entire fight. But if we at least see like a decent chunk of it right now, I will be happy. Oh, also, Izo wouldn't know about this. That he betrayed them. So there's going to be news to Cat Viper and Izo. Dude, this dude is calling them rats when he's literally a mouse. Bro, the seriousness in like Izo's eyes. Oh, this is hype. No, oh, he's gonna tell him he's about to be executed, so. Oh, man. Dude, this is just gonna give him a drive, like more of a drive to like get in there. And like end this battle. Yo, he actually tried fighting back. Yes, Momonosuke, he actually tried fighting back. Gotta give him props for that. Dude is definitely like growing up. Yeah, he just pissed off Conjuro hard as hell. He just pissed him off. Man, I cannot wait to see this dude get taken down. This dude needs to be taken down like right now. Yo, he's just pissing them off even more. Ooh, this is going to be a good battle. But the thing is, can Conjo really stop them? I mean, come on. Like, these guys seem real tough. I don't think Conjo could take them all down at, like, at once. Come on, please show us this fight. I want to see this fight so much. Bro, I still can't believe Cat Viper has a gun attached, like attached to his like severed hand or severed arm. Oh, that's gonna be crazy. He's just gonna be blasting off bullets left and right with that thing. Like, I think the real battle is just gonna be like all of them versus Conjuro, and that's it. Like, that's gonna be the real battle here. <laughs> Dogstorm has a sword attached to his leg. Yo, yo, there, oh, yes. That's his two sword, two sword style. I like that. I like that a lot. Okiku versus Kanjiro. Come on, Okiku. Kick this dude's ass right now. Oh, I think she's trying to see if, like, there's still, like, if there's, like, any good in him. Or if, like, everything was, like, a complete lie. Yeah, because, like, you know, obviously, like, part of them, like, all of them, like, a part of them doesn't want to, like, take down Conjuro, but, like, they know because he betrayed them, they have to do it. I mean, yeah, I mean, he did play his role pretty well to the point where, like, Kaido almost, like, Kaido even thought, like, like, there was a possibility that Kaido almost killed him or, like, could have killed him during, like, their first war against each other. Okigu, oh, just cut this dude already. Cut this dude up. Like, I feel like they all want to, like, cut this dude up. But, like, there's definitely going to be, like, another part of them that, like, just can't do it. They can't see themselves to do it. Come on, prove me wrong, Q. Prove me wrong. Prove me that you want to, like, cut this dude up so badly. Oh, it would be so nice if, like, Izo just, like, did a headshot on him. Oh... You know when you don't see an anime character's eyes, they're about to go serious. Oh! Yo, Okiku is about to go ham. She is about to go crazy. Oh, we're back to Big Mom. Oh, man. Like, like I feel like Nami is going to have to, like, 
I think Nami is definitely going to try something against her. Like, definitely use Zeus against Prometheus. Or, like, definitely use um, Zeus against Big Mom. Brooke would, Brooke would definitely be, like, helpful right now. Since he, like, he has something to do with, like, souls. Like, that's what his power is and everything. Come on, Zeus. Go protect Nami. Protect. Oh. Oh, no. Big Mom caught up with him. Oh, that's not good. She wants to go on his ship with him? Yes. Please let Yamato join the crew. Damn, so Kaido, like, had had um Yamato, like, as a prisoner since she was eight. Bro, I kind of want to see Yamato versus Kaido now, too. I just want to see everyone go against Kaido. Oh, yeah, Luffy's about to use the real hockey on those cubs, isn't he? Because he's done it before. Oh, they're... They're going to be talking about War of the Best right now. Aren't they? Because then they just like say like it's been two years since um, the War of Marine Force or something. Oh, then they're, for, they're like finally bringing this up a little bit. Also, this is going to be like Luffy's first time hearing about this. That the Warlords are like not a thing anymore. So now Kaido's after the Ancient Weapons? Yo... If Kaido manages to get his hands on those, oh, that would not be good. Pretty much if anyone got their hands on him, it would definitely not be good. Oh, no. Yeah, but with Big Mom and Kaido both having, like, having, like, the ancient weapons, they would be an unstoppable force. Oh, and Luffy's about to, like, everyone's about to see that, like, Nami and Carrot got captured. Oh, man. Okay, so we kind of got, like, a little bit of what Kaido's planning and everything. You know, he did talk about, like, how the um, the Seven Warlords have been abolished and everything. So now, you know, Marines are just going after them. And then he talks about, like, him wanting to get the ancient weapons. And that's, <laughs> that's not good whatsoever. Because remember, not only Kaido, but with Big Mom and their alliance... If they gain ancient weapons, we honestly, I don't think anyone would be able to stop them whatsoever. But yeah, we you know we got a little bit of more kind of like Ace stuff. Like I think uh, Yamato wanted to go with Ace before, but because she has like um, shackles on her, she couldn't leave. And if I know like she always tried to like fight against Kaido and she always got beaten. So... You know, there's that, and then Luffy, you know, he, he like, he offered to, like, take off the cups for her since, like, he now has that ability with the real hockey. So, yeah, things are going to be crazier than they ever been. But, yeah, you know, like, pretty, pretty decent episode, I gotta say. Like, you know, nothing crazy went on, you know, just a little bit of fights here and there, you know, with, like, you know, the scabbers versus um Conjuro and everything. So there was that. Um Nami got captured. Uh, you know. Yeah, things aren't looking too good for like Nami right now because Nami and Carrot both got captured by Big Mom, so Ooh, that's gonna be a risky one. That's gonna be tough to save her. But actually would it though, because Luffy's there, Yamato's there. Jean Bay, Robin, Old Man Hio, the other samurais, they're all there, so I'm sure they're gonna try to save Nami and Carrot. And once they do that, like once they go battling Big Mom, that's gonna be a solid fight. That is going to be a solid fight. Oh man. But yeah, um, I, I guess I'm gonna have to cut it here. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more anime reactions and more reactions in general and even discussion videos in the future. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button for that. Also like the video, comment, you know the whole thing. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Till next time. See ya.